EU competition officials are said to be preparing to block a $2 billion merger between South Korea's Hyundai Heavy and Daewoo Shipbuilding. That's two of the world's biggest shipbuilders. Now, there are concerns that a tie-up will lead to a higher liquefied natural gas prices. And the deal has been given the go-ahead in China and Singapore, but still awaits regulatory approval in the EU, Japan and South Korea. Uh, Chris Jones joins us live from London for more. Chris, a Hyundai's position is that the structure of the shipbuilding market makes it difficult for any one company to monopolize it. And so the merger should be allowed. But what is the EU's position? Well, we've seen reports uh, is, uh, published from the Financial Times in the past couple of days, uh, which has suggested that Brussels is likely to block this merger from going ahead, labelling it as anti-competitive. What this really boils down to, though, is keeping prices of natural gas low across Europe. And it, this merger really comes at a time where gas is at a shortage across the entire continent. Now, we've not heard from the European Commission on this matter just yet, but as I say, they are likely to block uh, the merger from going ahead. So kind of all eyes on Brussels uh, at the moment to see how they react to this merger and whether they allow it to go ahead. Reports suggest that they will not. But soaring energy prices in Europe, uh, you know, hardly the fault of the shipbuilding industry alone. Uh, what is the current situation and what does it have to do with this potential merger? Well, as I mentioned, uh, gas shortages are kind of rife across Europe at the moment. And you're right, this isn't the fault of shipbuilding and LNG um, ship uh, kind of shipping industry alone. There's been huge supplies, um, huge issues with Europe's own supply of liquefied natural gas. For instance, if we look at Russia, Russia has limited the amount of natural gas that it has been supplying Europe with. Russia, of course, being Europe's uh, biggest supplier of natural gas. Now, Russia has been kind of uh, limiting that supply to meet its own domestic needs. So Europe has been forced to kind of look elsewhere to the US and Asia. And as a result, prices have, of course, risen. Now, um, if this merger were to go ahead to bring the merger back into this, if it were to go ahead, then prices would rise further, critics fear. Now, um, this is partly why officials want to uh, block this deal from going ahead in Brussels. But as we've mentioned, no word yet from, no official word, sorry, from the European Commission. So um, all eyes on Brussels to see exactly what they do about this merger potentially going ahead. Oh, thanks for that. Chris Jones in London.